Hello, I'm Pam of Healing Stars and I'm talking about the week, the astrology of the week of the 14th of July until the 21st. We've just had a full moon. The full moon was in, sun was in Cancer, still is, and the moon was in Capricorn. Very kind of serious full moon because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and Saturn's all about limitations. Anyhow, this week we have some major events occurring. We have Jupiter, which has been going through the sign of Cancer for 12 months, will now move into Leo. See where Jupiter is down in this particular chart. Here it is in this lovely sector down here, kind of golden uh, yellow sector. This is a once a year event, so this is without a doubt the main news of the week. I'm giving a free webinar on Jupiter in Leo, that will be on the 21st of July, 8 o'clock, British summer time. So please sign up on my website via this blog. Or by the, by, yes, via my YouTube, via my, my blog. This is a major event because Jupiter brings growth to whatever sign it transits. And this is a fiery energy, Leo. It's moving from water, emotions, into fire. And fire is enthusiasm, warmth, good things of summer. Before we get there, let's look at what's going on. Just after the full moon, on the 13th of July, we have a, a planet moving sign. We've now got, there's been a step, Mercury. Mercury is, has now moved into Cancer. Mercury, the trickster, has been retrograde all of June basically and it's moved from Cancer to Gemini from Gemini back to Cancer and this is the move back into Cancer. It will stay the whole of July in the sign of Cancer. Mercury is communication so we're being asked to communicate now from our hearts our feeling nature rather than our heads our intellect. However with all things Mercury be aware of thinking before you speak, don't just blurt out feelings in a rush. This week we have the moon. The moon is moving from Capricorn. Where's our friend the moon? Where's the sun? Here she is. Here's the moon up here in Aquarius on Sunday. So it's moving from Capricorn, the full moon, Aquarius. It will then go through Pisces. You see here's Neptune and Chiron, both in Pisces. That's occurring Tuesday. So Tuesday this week, ultra sensitive. Pisces is touchy feely, feels everything that's going on, be a sponge. And the moon can bring up those emotions. Thursday, it will move into Aries, the moon. Friday, Aries. And on Friday, we get another transition because Venus, I mentioned a bit earlier, Venus by then will also be moving into Cancer. So here's the chart. I've, I've set the parameters very tight so you can see hopefully the picture of the week. Here's Wednesday. This is Jupiter's day. It's set for 8 in the morning so it won't appear on this chart till the following day. And then we get another major event. By Saturday we will have the last quarter moon. That's the culmination of the new moon which starts the full the, the, the month the lunar month and that's always a time of tension but notice we've got Venus in Cancer, Mercury in Cancer, Sun in Cancer so there's a lot of emotion still these are water signs we've got Neptune and Chiron still in Pisces Saturn still in Scorpio the trine that's been going on the flow of energy between Saturn and Chiron is still there and what's important also, the end of this week, is Saturn. Saturn will move forward once again. Hooray, we still always say with Saturn, any planet moving forward has more direction, more action. And Capricorn, which is Saturn's natural uh, ruler, is also a good uh, is a go-ahead for a lot of projects that might have been on the back burner, putting them into manifestation now. Saturn moves forward for the rest of the year which is very good news for me and other Scorpios because it will finally leave our sign by the end of the year. So that is another major event that's occurring this week. 
the packed week. Notice also by Sunday next week we have a lovely trine happening between the planet Mercury in Cancer and Neptune. And then of course the following week Venus will also create that trine. Trines are positive, they're blue energy in the chart below and they create this flow. But coming back to it, the main event this week has to be Jupiter in Leo. So sign up on my website for the free webinar. I have 100 places which have been filled in the past, so don't miss out. Also, if, it's, if you attend live, you get the energy of the group and you can ask questions towards the end. If you don't attend it live, unfortunately, you, you can get a recording, but you won't have that kind of energy or that personal question. Thank you for watching. I'm Pam of HealingStars.com.